empty knot. This lace is playing no games right now. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm standing in my bathroom so I am aware or I apologize if it's echoing right now. I don't have my microphone so we're just gonna make it work. Plus this is a quick introduction. So today's wig is gonna be a human hair wig that I'm reviewing for you guys and installing. So it's gonna be like a double part video that I'll be showing you an install as well as just what I think about it. So I'll give a review at the end. So today's wig comes from Nafa, Nafa wigs, Nafa wigs. How would you guys pronounce that? Nafa, Nafa. Nafa wigs, Nafa wigs. Nafa wigs sounds better to me. So that's what I'm gonna go with. So it says Nafa wigs, natural fashion. They've been in business since 1998. So this is the packaging that the wig came in. I have it in more of a, bull, a bob type of unit. I wanna say it's 12 or 14 inches long. I'll put the exact details in my description box below. But yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and jump into the installation of this unit. Before I do so, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Also click that bell below so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Leave me a thumbs up and comment as well. So this wig came in a middle part, you guys, but I went ahead and off camera, I put it off to the side because I was trying to see where I wanted to wear it. And I think I'm going for a side part today. I'm going to do a left part since I usually come at you guys with the middle part quite often. I was like, let's change it up a little bit. So I'm going to give you a middle part today. Um, it has some combs in the inside, which I don't really use when it comes to human hair units anyways, because I always use some type of like free spray or glue or something to um, make sure my wig stays down and sturdy so I don't necessarily use the combs when I use these so I probably will cut those out and then it has a comb in the back as well as adjustable straps I did do the adjustable straps a little bit tighter because I want this wig to be nice firm and fitting and I want to make sure that it lays as flat as possible and usually I find when you cross your um, adjustable straps in the back it does um, usually let your unit lay a little bit flatter. So let's go ahead and jump to the install.
guys so this is the completed look of this wig so please tell me what you think in the comment section below it actually was a really quick install I'm not sure if they were able to tell that off of the camera but I would have to say that I am 1000% so freaking pleased with this wig and let me tell you why y'all do y'all uh, through that whole process and hopefully I got a good enough amount of clips did you see how this wig just literally melted into my skin like into my hairline I'm gonna get a little closer because I want y'all to see my camera is choosing not to focus come on focus camera listen this lace is playing no games right now I'm feeling real grown I am grown but I just feel like this makes me look super grown super mature I just feel like it makes me maybe because I haven't tried a short wig in a minute that's why I'm feeling like this but this this unit is she's bomb okay I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a 360 view hopefully my hair is straight in the back because usually I straighten my wigs before I put them on my head and today I did not so hopefully it's straight All right, so good 360 view. Tell me guys, what do you think about it? Y'all just might be A1 in my book, yo. I'm really not sure. I mean, good gosh, like this, wow. I'm like speechless. This wig came already bleached, y'all. That's another thing. I did not have to bleach this wig. I hate bleaching okay I'll do it for the for the concept of wanting my hair to like lighten up or something or you know just wanting to bleach your roots I will do it but I prefer not to you know what I'm saying I prefer not to but I'm just really glad that this one came pre-bleached okay this parting space is super duper visible yes I did add powder but it was already visible before doing that came naturally straight already in a bob form it came with a middle part but you know i already put mine to the side because that's what i was feeling and this looks good um it also was pre-plucked i did go in and pluck it a little bit more just like where i knew most of my hairline would be showing i wanted to go in and pluck it a little bit more because i knew what concept i wanted of wanting my baby hairs in the front like this so that's why i was like let me make sure i just pluck it just a little bit more to make sure that i have the space that um, I'm going for but it could have been worn straight out the packaging how it was like that super duper nice I'm gonna pull up the link on my um, phone so I can pull up some information about it so yes this is the 14 inch human hair bob style wig and this goes for a total of hundred and forty dollars so it is a bit pricey, however, you are getting a really good quality wig, a wig that is going to last you a lifetime, not really a lifetime, but honestly, it could last a long time depending on how much you take care of it. This is a unit that will last a lot longer, it has no shedding issues, it has no tanglage issues, and it really is like doable and workable, like you can literally wear this when it comes out of the packaging so I think paying $140 for a unit that already comes plucked comes bleached comes style you tell me y'all so this unit is 130% density the cap size is 22.5 inches so I guess I'm an average size head for some reason I really thought I was on the larger side but Apparently that's average. <laughs> you can actually order it based off um, if you want it sent to you with a middle part or a side part and it'll let you choose which side part. So you can choose a left or right side part in that instance. So I'm going to show you the website part or side part and then there's the cap size, density, all that good stuff. So even if it comes like with the parting space in the middle you can always move it over to the left if you want to like I did. And then the texture of the hair is straight texture hair. I also want to touch on the lace even though I've cut it off. The lace is 
like a brown tint color lace so I also believe that's why it also blended into my skin so well because it was very close to my skin tone versus getting a lace that was way too too white it this one blended into my skin like perfectly so yeah I'll put all the information below in, um, if I didn't answer a question for you guys about the unit specifics but if you do have a question like I always say just leave it in my comment section below and I'll answer it for you but I think that pretty much sums up this video you guys I showed you how I installed it and how I styled it now you be the judge and tell me what you think thanks guys so much for watching today's video thank you again to Nefa Wigs for sending me this unit and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys